Sweet Amen. A blessed day my, my, to, to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the second week of Easter. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SBD, Rector of the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. <music> Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We continue to celebrate with joy this victory of Christ over sin and death because it is also the vi our own victory. We express our gratitude to God in this holy eucharist and to make us less unworthy to celebrate it we ask god's mercy and pardon have mercy on us o lord for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in an ending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go, and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and told, 
When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin and falsinate of the children of Israel and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them. The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. <laughs> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed day to all of you. 
dear friends and also our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this worship through this live stream. You must have noticed that uh, during this Easter season, the first reading comes from the Acts of the Apostles. It is a narrative of, shall we say, one of the things, that, one of the concerns of this book is to present to us the early church and how this early church embodied or lived what they believed the uh, achievement or the victory of Christ over sin and death. And I think this is at the core of their, of this uh, book of uh, the so-called Acts of the Apostles. And uh, reading it, we come to realize how the, the resurrection, the experience of the resurrection of Jesus also formed or provided that foundation of the life of the apostles. In the first reading today, we find this miraculous liberation of the apostles from the prison and a fact that uh, is written in uh, within this what we call context of the great context of this victory of Jesus Christ or the so-called Paschal event an angel a messenger of God and with his strong arm comes and liberates the innocent just person oppressed experiences this liberating intervention of God the people admires and uh, the people admire and open their hearts open themselves to faith while the enemies, the adversaries, step on the break and they don't know what to do in such situation. But this gift of liberation, a recovered freedom through God's intervention is translated immediately in a task, a mission, that those who have been with Jesus, who have been able to listen to God's word, from being hearer of the word into uh, the, are now transformed into being servants of his. Now they pronounce the word of life and commit themselves in the teaching of this faith to the people of what they have seen and heard that which they can be as credible witnesses. Thus, also through the ministry, the ministry of these hearers before constituted now as witnesses that salvation is being offered to all with that one condition that everyone receives this liberating power of the Word of God. So what was present in Jesus with His Word now being given to His ministers and they have become also instruments of life, salvation, of the proclamation of the good news. And this is our vocation too as Christians. God has called us and has liberated us and continue to liberate us from our 
difficulties, but at the same time also, He constitutes us as His, not only now as hearers, but doers of the Word. May our participation once again in this banquet of the risen Lord enable us to free ourselves from this darkness as the gospel would tell us today the darkness that does not recognize Christ the darkness that runs away from the truth but this Jesus the risen Lord may he help us to face our darkness and in doing so we come to see the truth first of all of God's love of his victory and seeing this and being enlightened we hope also to share this light his light and his victory and this is our prayer for our country for our all our people that we may not persist in the ignorance and in our own hard-headedness but may come to see the truth of goodness the truth of service the truth of the reality of our lives and come and may we recognize God's hands God's light in our life this is our prayer today especially as we come nearer to this uh, electoral exercise may we have the light of Christ that leads us to the truth Amen Please rise With confidence, we bring our cares and concerns before God the Father, who loved the world so much that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For every prayer, let our response be, In the name of Jesus, bless us. In the name of Jesus, bless us that the church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair, we pray. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. us. That we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions, we pray. In the, in name, the name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless, bless us. us. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives, we pray. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. That through the care and attention shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God, we pray. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. That our beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection, we pray. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, bless us. us. In silence, we pray for other inter personal intentions. We pray. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus bless, bless us. And may the risen Lord enlighten all those, our fellow Filipinos in, during these elections, to choose correctly the right persons to govern us. And we also pray, continue to pray for peace in the world, especially in Ukraine, in Russia, we pray. 
In the name of Jesus, bless us. Bless us. Heavenly Father, look with love on all our, your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to proclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the eight children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
holy, O Lord, the fund of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Mass. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Ha 
Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess Confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our our efforts efforts to use use the medicines medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We We pray for our health workers that they they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them them health in mind and body, strength strength in their commitment, protection protection from from the disease. We pray pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We apply to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reina Adebets, pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. Our schedule of masses are as follows: Mondays to Saturdays, 6:30 a.m. and 6 p.m. On Sundays, we have the 6, 8, and 
10 and 11.30 a.m. And in the afternoon, we have the 4 and the 6 p.m. Confession is every Saturday at 5 p.m. And in 11, 11 a.m. on Sunday and 5 p.m. Sunday. The Paris Pastoral Council for Voting of the Shrine of a Nonpartisan and Citizens Watch Group accredited by the, by the Commission on Elections under the Roman Catholic Church that seeks to ensure free, fair, and honest election is in need of volunteers. You may register at wwwbitly shrine ppcrb or message us at the Shrine's FB page. Thank you. Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SBD Shrine Rector. Please rise. Right after the blessing, we have the, our devotion to St. Joseph. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, your work and activities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. service in honor of St. Joseph. Prayer. Be blessed, St. Joseph, a person according to the heart of God. You were found worthy to care for God's own mother and, a, and be a father of his beloved. We, we honor, honor you in your in person, person, the choice the of the of eternal, eternal Father, who wished to, to share with you his power over his, his only begotten, begotten Son, the, the choice, choice of the divine Son, Son himself, himself who wanted, wanted to be to subject, subject to you and be and called son, son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit, Spirit who singled you out to be the protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary, Mary most holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and continence which you manifested all during those years when you lived under, under the same the roof with the Virgin Mother. Praise be the Lord who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed, be blessed and praised our, our Father and Protector for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever virgin, and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We thank, thank you, you for, for the loving care, care which, which you bestowed, bestowed so faithfully, faithfully on Mary and, and the divine and child. Show the same fatherly care now to us, who are members of Christ, Christ and the, the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us, us your lively faith, your prompt obedience to God's will, your unassuming way, and, and your, your great, great love, love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore you aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father, and all the bishops, 
priests and religious of the church. Guide and assist also our temporal rulers with the model of patience and diligence for all workers and come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted so that they obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the, for the faithful, faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of the triune God. In the silence of our hearts, let, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intention through the intercession of St. Joseph. Remember, most, most pure spouse, spouse of Mary, of Mary ever, ever virgin, virgin, our protector, Saint, Saint Joseph, that, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without, without obtaining relief. Confiding, confiding therefore in your goodness, in your goodness we, we come before you and humbly beg you, do not despise our petitions, petitions guardian, guardian father, father of our Savior, Savior. Graciously, graciously receive them. them. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph for one's family. Joseph, Joseph strengthen, strengthen in our, our family, family every bond of love which unites us. us. The, the marriage bond, bond the, the love of parent and child, and child the bonds of mutual love, love between all. Joseph, protect our family from every danger from without and from every threat of peace, unity, unity and harmony within. within. Joseph, Joseph, teach us to be kind and loving towards one another, another careful for one another, tolerant of one another, forgiving towards one another. One another. Joseph, my contentment with our lot and joy in each other abound in our house as we seek faithfully to serve and greatly to love God. Joseph, be yourself a father towards the family of ours, and pray Mary be a mother to us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye now. Bye now.